Sup with a whack with a PlayStation sub, guys. So, push press. We're already in the gym. No car talk today. Just blank mind. Don't have much to say for some reason. It's been a very, it was a very quiet day working. Yeah, my mind's just sort of scattered. <laughs> Almost. But we're in the gym. We're in the Force Power Gym. And we're about to do some push press with bar, 110 kilograms. Close grip bench press. Now, that might be a little struggle. So, I'm doing 120 kilograms for 10 reps. Two sets. And then I was talking with my coach yesterday, like, what's... And he, was, he said, like, yeah, then you know what's next week. And I was like, what, 135 for six or 137.5 kilograms for six in the close grip bench press? And he was like, no, 140, 140 kilograms for six reps. So I was like, fuck. He told me, like, he saw the last bench press and, like, it just looked still so easy. Now you know. Yeah. So that's going to be interesting, like 140 with a stop and... And you know, good form, good reps, you know, because I haven't, like I, yeah. No, I have, I think I have hit the most I've ever hit on a bench press when I was hitting, clo not, not close grip, just wide grip bench. I was in world class and I think I did 150 kilograms for two reps, maybe. I think that's the most I've ever, ever done on the bench. But then I've done 160, like a trampoline rep. But, uh, so yeah, that's gonna be cool. Like if I can hit 140 for six reps on a close grip bench, that'll that'll just mean we'll be one step closer to becoming super sane. <laughs> no, but I just remember my coach telling me like when we before the off season started that like he wanted me before the next season starts, before the first competition. You know, would like me to be hitting 170, 180 kilograms on the close grip bench. And I was like, fuck, okay. You know, that's huge because I've only, like I said, I've only done 160 kilograms. A trampoline, like, like using the bounce off my chest and everything to get 160 up. And that was a while ago. But, uh, so, if I'm going to be hitting 170, 180 on the close grip bench, with a good form and everything, you know, those will be some major, major improvements that I won't be able to say anymore that I'm a bench cripple, I feel, you know, not compared to what I was, but still yet to do that, you know, get that number, but yeah, we'll see how 140 goes. The thing that has stopped me the most in the past was because, and I've mentioned this before, was when I was benching wide grip, just, you know, with my ring finger on here, I think, yeah. I just got so much inflammation. It was such a strain on my brachialis and everything that I just couldn't, I had to stop benching like every se session because of pain. Not because of a lack of strength, but just because of pain. Like going down just felt so much pain. And uh, so like that, sort of made my bench stagnate for a good amount of time and yeah so that's gonna be gonna be exciting really exciting if that's all gonna come to fruition but no wishful thinking let's not lose ourselves in wishful thinking we still, still gotta do it put in the work but uh yeah let's start with the push press, the bar. Time to start warming up. Let's go. All right, so we are into the first working set of the day. 110 kilogram push press for five reps. Oh, five reps. Wow, okay. One, one set of five reps, then two sets of 100 kilograms for five reps. So, okay, let's put all into it. I just, while well, I was warming up, I was like, damn. I kinda gotta take a shit. <laughs> so I just went into it, but I gotta get the, the thermal shorts back up and into a comfortable position. There we go. Okay. Five reps with 110. Gotta think about technique on this and be explosive. Fast hands, 
fast. It's powerful ass, powerful glutes. And microphone away. Wow, push press has never felt this goddamn great. That's like, I think the best like session I've had in it yeah. up, up until now. Wow, with the heaviest weight I've done in as well for the most amount of reps. It felt I could dip a little bit deeper down and get a lot more like driving jumping power. Good stuff. Well, wow. Gains, guys, getting better. Now I'm gonna lower it by 10 kilograms. You do two more sets. Okay, that felt great. Good shit. Dear God of Gains, please make this set. The upgrade, the last one, or even greater and more explosive. Please, God of Gains, Gains God, I need your help. Maybe not as great. Good set. Not as great as the other one because that was, you know, a PB and weight and, and everything. So I think I put just a little bit more into that one than this one, but still, form feels good. Everything feels pretty nice. Just, yeah, definite technique gains in the push press. Good stuff. Third set, let's put some power into this one. Imagine it's 120. Let's go. That one definitely felt better. That no, last one, a little bit more like intent behind it. Good shit. Let's move on to the close grip bench. We who? All right, guys, time for what I talked about the close grip bench press. 120 kilograms got on here. Going for 10 reps now. We're gonna have to. Get some oxygen to the muscles because we're gonna need it. 
Come on, come on, this is fucking serious work. Let's go. Ten reps. Ten fucking reps. You gotta have you have to come with me guys. Let's go. Let's go. Good shit. 120 kilograms. 10 reps. Oh. Yeah. I had it under control the whole time, but like wasn't wasn't uh, stopping a lot because you know, like the gas is gonna build up fast doing these sorts of high high rep rep ranges. But yeah, one more set of this and uh, good shit. Doesn't feel like that much weight, really. <sighs> Great. <sighs> All right. Set number two. Ten reps again with 120 kilograms close to the bench press. There is no failing in training. believe it. Nine reps. Maybe there was enough energy for one more if I had a spotter. I'm just too shy to ask for a spot. God damn it. I know I just said no failing in training and then failed. I only did nine reps on the close grip bench. I honestly feel like there could have been just one more if I just would have allowed myself to struggle all the way. Just uh, didn't, whatever, whatever, it's there. Now, next thing I'm doing is uh, seated dumbbell shoulder press with no back support. And I don't remember, I don't know if you don't remember, but uh, last week I did 34 kilograms for 10 reps. Now the program has 40 kilograms in each hand for 10 reps. Fuck, you know, I'm gonna have to put all I got into this. And locking out and... Whew. Come on. I'm getting stronger each week. There's no reason why this shouldn't go up at all. 10 reps, let's go. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'll get support to my stapler. Wow, that is heavy, very heavy. 
think I'm gonna lower the weight down to, I don't know, what is 80 pounds, 36 kilograms. 40 is just a little bit too much right now. I just only managed to do five reps with it. Oh, let's try this again. I've lowered it down to 80 pounds, which is 36.3 kilograms, so minus four kilograms each dumbbell. Oh, let's go for 10 with this. Oh, let's go. Gotta keep that balance, or else we're doomed. Just don't have this. This isn't feeling like I totally did before. Don't feel as balanced, but, but yeah, still it's percentage-wise, you know, dumbbell, every increase is a lot. So you know, jumping up five kilograms in each hand, that's you know a lot percentage-wise. So I think a more realistic approach would be to jump by two, 2.5 kilograms. You know, when you're increasing and getting progressive overload. But uh, yeah, oh, maybe I should. Well, it only called for two sets, but I did one for five, and one for eight. I'm still missing, what, two, seven, seven reps out of the total 20 that I'm supposed to do. So maybe I'll do just one more with these. All right, I owe seven reps. Can't leave this thing until I deliver those seven. A pedestal always pays its debts. There we go. Seven. That is paid. So, I, yeah, I'm feeling a bit tired, yawning, yawning a lot, but, uh, oh, gotta check out what's next, oh, so, it is bent over dumbbell raises. Bent over rear reverse dumbbell flies. I think there's another way of saying what this what this is called, but again, 30 pounds, 12 to 15 reps. Let's go. Bam. Oh. Ooh. 15 reps. I think I'm gonna do a couple of sets of this. 
two sets. Everything's almost two sets, yeah. Everything, except for now the next exercise. Behind the neck, dumbbell tricep extensions. Three sets of 10 reps with 16 to 17.5 17 kilograms. Like it's either 35 pounds or 40. Now 35 is too little. 40 is 18.3 kilograms. So, you know, we'll just have to be stronger. 10 reps. Let's go. Okay. Now. Take my man bun out. God damn it. Take. Breathe. Breathe. Bim. Six. Ota. Nye. Dear. Yeah. My hair's going down. Rocking that Marvel Thor vibe. Shit. The decision to just be stronger seems to have paid off. Whew. Man, guys, my my shoulders feel toast. They just feel like just feel like all the lactic acid is just swelling and swirling in my shoulders. It's a good feeling, but it's a bad feeling. Not bad. It's, Strange, a little bit uncomfortable, but uh, whatever. <sighs> Strength and gains are to be had. We gotta take what comes with it. <sighs> last exercise of the day, last pull downs. I can really feel like my shoulders are just so pumped. I haven't felt this, <laughs> this amount of a shoulder pump in a, uh, in a long time. But uh, yeah, lat pull downs, 240 kilograms, no pounds for 12 reps. Let's go. Let's finish this workout with style and finesse. Eight. 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 stuff <sighs> one more set of these then uh, uh, we're finished I'll see you guys in the car oh, gotta make sure not to hit any pole like I day once here while backing out but I now see that pole has been painted yellow so people don't do that I must not have been the only one. I like backed into it very slowly so it didn't really do any damage, but still, you know, you don't want to be doing that. But uh, yeah, guys, super successful trading session. Yeah, happy with that. Now, I kind of wish I would have done a little bit of flexing, a little bit of checking the shoulders because they just feel so pumped. Like I feel I'm, like I'm not going to be able to, like I'm not going to be able to lift my arms up tomorrow. But uh, it's a good feeling. It's a feeling like I that I haven't feel like I haven't had a 
feeling that I feel like I haven't had <laughs> in a while. So that's great. It, I take it as a sign of growth. <laughs> that sounds bad, but um, not growth, growth, but as a as a sign of things getting bigger. Um, uh, yeah, just gotta stop by real quick and bonus the supermarket, get some blueberries and some wet cat food. And then I gotta bombard myself back home because uh, my girlfriend's making some nice Valentine's dinner. Now, in the last video I talked about that, I was had to do a few things before Valentine's Day. It was the 13th. Today it is the 14th, and I have already delivered the present, which is good. I bought my girlfriend a little bit, of, like a necklace, like a pearl necklace for Valentine's Day. I always wake up before her, so I, uh, I wake up at 5.50. She usually wakes up around 6, 6.10, 6.15, or sometimes just 7 o'clock. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, when I woke up, I went into my... Um, nightstand drawer, took out the present that was wrapped, put it on hers, her nightstand, so that when she goes, went to uh, shut off her alarm clock, she would see the present. And everything worked out great. It was successful. And she was happy, which made me happy. Because there's an old saying, happy wife, happy life. And it seems to be correct. Got to keep, you know, got to make an effort. It's important. So, uh, yeah. Why are, what? Why is the Christmas decorations up on this? It's February 14th. <laughs> Heresy. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm just outside the supermarket. Blueberries. I need blueberries. I need almond butter. I don't think I need anything else. Wet cat food, those three things. All right, I'm gonna jump inside and I'll see you guys later. In a couple of days, I will be training some deadlifts. Fun stuff, I think I'm, I think I'm going up to like 280 kilograms or something. But I like, yeah, this workout was good. Not happy that I didn't get the 10th rep on the bench, but I feel like it was there. If I just would have had a spotter, I would have had more confidence to just go all out. You know, if I fail, if I fail, it doesn't matter because he will save me. But uh, I was just, some, for some reason, a little bit too shy to ask for a spotter. I just feel like when I'm doing such high reps, I need to steal the people for so long and I don't want to disturb their workouts. But I guess, you know, it's that fear of being a bother. But I gotta get that out of my mind because I've done it many times for them. They should have no problem doing it for me. And uh, yeah, then, you know, with a, uh, no back support, dumbbell shoulder press, now making it to 10 reps and only five, like 40 kilograms, that, like, that's a good amount of weight with no back support, having to stabilize, because you're both having to stabilize and press it. And uh, yeah, I feel like it, it I, maybe I should have warmed up a little bit more in that exercise, it's gone from lighter weights, not just start, jump straight into the, the 40s because I think I sh needed to get a, like accustomed and uh, balanced. Um, yeah, before. What's that thing? There was the thing what I, that I had to do to my drone that was before I used it. It was called Cirque, like I had to hold it on the side and like go in a circle with it to like stabilize it or like mark it was called circs what's the word i'm looking for i don't remember kurva <laughs> well anywho i guess we'll call it call it a day see you guys next time hope you guys have a great 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 day goodbye <laughs>